Hey guys, every game here, back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get Drastic DS emulated for free. Now, I know I did this video about the start of February, and what was the end of February? No, it was the, I don't remember, it was some point in February. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys an easy way to get this app. But the only problem I've noticed is that with this app, the settings option does not work. So if you want to use settings, you're kind of out of luck. And next week, I'm going to be showing you the full tutorial from that last one I did. Because people have been having a bit of trouble with that one. So anyway, what you want to do first, is you want to go into the, the link in the description. And it will take you to this page. And it says no preview available, but who cares. You just want to press the download button. And it will start downloading straight away. The video is starting to download. And this doesn't take forever to download. It just takes like at least a minute, maybe two minutes. But yeah, now while that's loading, I suggest you go to a website called Emmy Paradise, whereabouts you can download ROMs for your emulator. So I'm gonna download Pokemon. I'm gonna download Pokemon Pearl because I haven't had this one yet. And yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna download it, and the downloading doesn't take that long. Depends on the file size of the actual app. So if you have like a big game you're downloading, it's going to take a while. If you have a small game like Pokemon or something, it's going to really stay like maybe like 5 minutes. It's not that long. Alright, so I'm going to wait for this to download. There we go. And, and once it has done downloading, I will show you the next step. Alright, so you want to press install when that has finished downloading. Because you want to for the next step. And sometimes these apps can take maybe like a minute or two minutes up to an actual install on your device, depending on what you're using. Now I'm just going to click done, I'm not going to open it first. So once you've done that, you want to get an app called 7-Zipper, which will be in the description to the Google Play Store link. And so this does only work on Android, this doesn't work on iOS, if you have an iOS device, I'm sorry, this doesn't work for it. But I did have, but I did do an iOS app, uh, iOS tutorial where Bats I showed you how to get the DS emulator. Maybe you could probably put that in the description as well. So anyway, once you've done, you want to get to 7-Zipper. And you want to press download, and it should come up with your downloads that you've done on your device. And mine can take a quite a while, because I've downloaded a lot of stuff on my phone. I just mostly download, like, emulators and, um, like, rooms and stuff. It's not anything bad or anything like that. So I'm just going to wait for this to load, sometimes it can take a while, it doesn't really affect me that bad, but it does sometimes when I'm trying to make a video. Anyway, so once it's loaded, you want to find it, and as you see there, Pokemon Bell is right there, and you want to hold the app, and you want to press Extract Zip, and you just want to wait until it has done, and you want to choose a location, I only choose the Diastric folder a file I mean or the download file mostly I just choose the diastic file just for some tutorials but that's really it. I'll probably move it later I guess alright so sometimes the distract the extracting can take a while um it depends on the file size again Pokemon doesn't really take a while it can take like maybe a minute a minute to 30 seconds I guess or maybe a little bit longer it depends on the Pokemon game most of them are pretty small actually so you know it doesn't take a while it doesn't take that long Alright, so once it's done, you can just click OK, or close, and you can basically go into your DS emulator, and it will start running. Alright, so I'm going to go into my DS emulator, and again, the options button doesn't work, and also, if you want to go and save um, the game, as in like the save state or the load state or the load game state thing, you know them two buttons. Uh, it's just not doing that because I can terminate your save file, and I don't forget anyone's are happening. And I'm gonna show you guys that this actually does save, like on an actual DS. And also, if you do delete this app and redownload it, all your save um will be there, which is pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you that this actually does work, so I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, so, as you see there, the game saved. So now I'm going to go back into the game and actually show you it saved, like a normal DS would. And so, as I said before in the first bit of the video, I said that the option button doesn't work because it's just like a bug or something. And, um, also do not save with the option and save button because it could terminate the save file. So, right, as you see here, I'm back where I was. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe for more videos every single week and share the around, share the video around to get people coming to my channel and help it grow. I'm in free gaming. I'm out. See you guys next week.